Hey guys, welcome back to another oil filter cut-up video. Today I've got Napa's gold and platinum filters to look at. Retail these cost $9.49 and $8.99 respectively. Though you can buy them on sale if you wait and they do come in master packs if you want a better price. They both come in just normal cardboard boxes though the gold did come with a shrink wrap cover over the bottom. Which I guess makes sense because it's more expensive but it is technically the lower tier filter which is just a little bit odd. Anyway, I'll put size and weight on the screen so we can move on to the underside where we can take a look at some of the details there. The first of which is the gasket design. Now the gold has the design that I prefer, which has a lip on the ID of the gasket itself, which engages an undercut in the track on the bottom of the filter, which provides a mechanical lock to give you better protection against double gasketing than maybe does the more traditional rectangular cross section gasket that you get on the platinum filter. The six inlet holes on the gold filter give you a combined inlet area of about 0 0.30 square inches, whereas the eight on the platinum give you 0 0.34, which both, both of those are higher than the 0.27 square inches you get from the five inlet holes on the base plate of this mobile one here for the same application, just for reference. The anti-drain back valves on both of these filters are made from silicone, which is pretty much industry standard now because of its good extreme temperature performance. Now lastly, before I cut into these guys so we can look at the inside, they've both got a healthy four and a half approximately threads on the center hole. So that's it for the outside that's really relevant. Let me go ahead and cut these so we can take a look at the guts. As far as the cases go, the golds is 20 thousandths of an inch thick, whereas the platinums is only 15. And if I squeeze on it, I can even feel a difference in rigidity. Regarding the emergency bypass valves, they both feature the coil spring design that is integrated into the upper end cap, which for the gold at least is a change from the older design they used to have, which featured an upfront bypass valve, wherein the whole cartridge would move back and forth inside of the case. When I went to the product page on Napa's website for this gold filter and looked at their video that showed an exploded view of this filter, it still showed that old design. Now, if I went to Napa's YouTube channel and that video of the exploded view came out back in 2011. And I, I know that this filter is newer than that because the case has the Man and Hummel logo on it. Man and Hummel bought Napa's previous parent company, Affinia, back in 2016. So I know this filter is newer than that, and it must have undergone a redesign, but Napa just hasn't updated their website. Unfortunately, I, I have to think that means their technical specs are also out of date, which <laughs> includes things that you would really want to know, like filter efficiency. So because I think it's out of date, I'm not going to quote those particular numbers for the gold, Though I will include a link to the product page that you can go to in the video notes if you are inclined to do so anyway. As far as the filter media is concerned, the Platinum I think is correct. It does match the website. Now it's a fully synthetic media with a total surface area of just shy of 61 square inches and that also has the wire backing for strength behind it. The website does say the beta, beta ratio is 2 for 20 micron particles, which doesn't sound right. That means it's 50% efficient at filtering out 20 micron particles, which seems awfully low for filters that have fully synthetic media types. Just for comparison's sake, if you go to Royal Purple's website, they say that they're filtering out 10 micron particles with 80% efficiency, which is way higher. So I don't know if this media is just underperforming its peers or if that number is not correct on Napa's website, which I'm kind of leaning towards because we already know that whoever's curating the website is not on top of things. So I'm willing to give Napa the benefit of the doubt in that regard. The gold though, now that it's had its redesign, it has a much, much larger total surface area for filter media at 140 0.5 square inches, more than double that of the platinum. And I'm inclined to think that this is an enhanced cellulose filter media type, though, again, I don't know what the efficiency is particularly. But that is a really impressive total filter area number. And the way that Napa has achieved that is by having a, a large OD for the cartridge, and they also shrunk the ID. When I was cutting this filter open, I noticed even 
that there wasn't much clearance between the inside of the case and the outside of the cartridge. The only filter I've come across that's had such a large OD that I'm aware of is this k and Performance Silver that I looked up or that I made a, a prior video on. And if you hold these up end to end, you can see they're about the same size. Whereas the, let me grab Platinum here, the Platinum is clearly smaller, okay? So combine that with the smaller ID, and which you can tell from the center tubes here. If I put these center tubes concentric with each other, the golds easily nests inside of the Platinums. They both feature the helical seam that I like. And if you look at the through holes, the gold's holes are larger than that of the Platinum's, which is probably to offset the fact that a smaller diameter tube just has less surface area. So that was probably a move they had to make to make sure this was not going to become a bottleneck when they shrunk the ID down. So from a build quality standpoint, I don't really see anything outstanding about the Platinum's design that would lead me to recommend it over the competition. And in fact, I don't like the fact that their case is a little bit thinner and I am a little bit concerned still about their efficiency rating. So though it competes, there's nothing that makes me want to recommend it over competing brands at this same price performance level. The gold though, now that they've got their redesign with the large filter area, they've got the thick case, they've also got the uh, gasket design that I prefer. This one I'd be much more inclined to recommend in its price performance class. So that's pretty much everything I had. If you have questions regarding these filters that I haven't covered, or if you have requests for cutups from other manufacturers, please let me know in the comments and please subscribe for more. And I appreciate you watching.